welcome to our third episode of the year. I'm Ashley Lara and I'll be your anchor for today. We have a lot of good stuff for you today, so we'll start things off with a special seasonal segment made by our very own Geo. Let's go to him now. Well, Oilers, it's that time of the year again, and if you're anything like me, you'll be sprinting down to your nearest Starbucks after school to pick up your favorite seasonal drink. That's right, we're talking about the infamous pumpkin spice latte. Now, seeing as how the pumpkin spice flavor is so popular this time of year, we decided to offer you some alternative pumpkin spice options. Here we have some pumpkin spice Oreos. Mm. Some pumpkin spice cereal. some pumpkin spice cider, some pumpkin spice tea, and some pumpkin spice muffins. We were able to pick up all of these things over at Seacliff. So before you go pick up your pumpkin spice latte at Starbucks, take a stop by Albertsons and try some of these things out. Thank you, Gio, for broadening our horizons. Our girls volleyball team has a game coming up and reporter Will Watts happily volunteered to cover the event. Let's see how that went. This Thursday on October 13th, HBHS's Varsity Girls Volleyball Team will be at Edison High School in a battle against their volleyball team at 6 p.m. We interviewed several members of the team to obtain some more information about the excitement of being on one of our many sports teams. This season's been good. Uh, we won two out of the three tournaments we've played, and uh, our biggest competition is Edison, but we ended up taking them in three um, Tuesday, so it was good. Uh, the season's been good so far. We've won two tournaments and we've gone 2-0 and in league so far, so strong start to the season. Uh, we prepare for games, uh, annual handshakes. We prepare for games by working hard in practice and usually start with a handshake before the game to pump each other up. Our hopes for future games is to win league and go as far as we can in CIF. Our hopes for the season are to win Sunset League for the third year in a row, so just to take every game at a time and just try and go undefeated in league. Um, we go into practice working as hard as we can when we go with a loss. Uh, people should attend the volleyball games because we're pretty good this year. We're going to hopefully go a little bit farther in CIF and it's always nice to have a student section support you. Come support your fellow Oilers by attending this week's volleyball game on Thursday at 6 p.m. at Edison High School. Don't forget to support our team on the 13th. October's here and so is APA's first main stage show. The Producers is basically about uh, this greedy producer, has been, named Max Bialystok, who hires an accountant named Leo Bloom, and from working together they quickly find out that they can come up with this scheme uh, where they can produce a flop on Broadway, raise two million dollars for it, close the show early, and then take that two million dollars and head off to Rio. It's very satirical and politically incorrect in some cases and it's really fun for audiences as well as the people within the show. I guess you could say some of the challenges I faced was the level of humor. I have to play a very, very old lady and so doing the voice and the acting is over the top and it's crazy as possible and it's a challenge but it's a great one. The producers is definitely something that you've never seen before with dancing Hitlers and all these crazy grandmas. It's something that's really funny and really unique. Altogether, it's so complex and it's so um, it's so tricky, but we've been working really hard to make it perfect. Remember, if you want to see the show, students with IDs get $5 off and students with APA stickers get in for free. They're young, they're Republicans. It's the Young Republicans Club. We sent reporter Max Kozik to interview club leader Nathaniel Goebel. Meeting on Mondays during lunch in room B6, the HBHS Young Republicans Club is one of the many political-based clubs featured here at Huntington High School. To get a better understanding as to what the Young Republicans Club is all about, we sat down with club president Nathaniel Goebel. So for a common day in the Young Republicans Club, it'll usually be me and Ben presenting a issue or topic at hand that's circulating in the political atmosphere. We will present what the issue is and the Republican Party's stance on the issue. And then we will kind of debate with each other in order to form a more cohesive 
stance on the issue at large. Yeah, and what we want people to do is to, to develop their own stance and their own position on these ideas. We don't want them to strictly follow the Republican Party's ideas. We want them to be able to form their own opinions through the information that we give them. I think we just wanted to give the opportunity to kids on campus who identify with the Republican Party a chance to voice their opinions and develop those opinions more in a safe environment. Yeah, we wanted to provide them with a safe environment where they could debate without having to worry about um, bias and people looking down upon them because of their opinions. So in the future we are going to have a gun debate with Amnesty International. It'll be going over the issues that guns face in our community and how far our rights to keep and bear arms extend. We are all in favor of having all kinds of clubs that voice their political efficacy all throughout Huntington Beach High School. We really think that by giving the people a chance to voice their opinions through a safe environment such as ours, that really helps create a more cohesive environment throughout Huntington Beach High School. It also helps to keep people well informed on what's going on in our world today about world issues and problems that dominate our society. So it's a good way to get people active and informed in a lot of the issues that our country and our community faces. If you are interested in joining the Young Republicans Club or just want to attend a meeting, you can go over to Room B6 on Mondays during lunch. Do you care about helping others? Do you support the American Red Cross? Do you like ice cream? Then come out to the blood drive and donate blood to the American Red Cross. We sent Colin out to get the scoop. The American Red Cross will be hosting a blood drive on Thursday, October 13th. Here's ARC club leader Allison Wu with more details. So the requirements to participate is that you have to be at least 17 years old, 110 pounds, and of course no diseases. The process will work by um, signing up in the office first, turning in everything that you need, um, and then you'll be excused from one of your class periods and you'll donate a pint of blood and get a pint of ice cream afterwards. You should donate because every two seconds someone in the U.S. needs blood and every donation can save up to three lives. Well, we have blood drives first and second semester and we're planning to have a CPR training second semester for students. Show your support Oilers by coming out and donating. Well, that's all we have for you guys today. Tune in to next week's episode of Campus Update and remember, stay oily Oilers.